So it's that time of the year again, it is back to school season. So whether you're just getting back into the classroom, thinking about uh, taking some more courses, I myself was a student not too long ago. I actually take link on uh, our daily morning walks uh, through the university campus, U of T, which is actually where I went to three degrees, humble brag. Um, it has always been a question, what laptop to get? With so many different options out there, maybe the most important thing to consider is the actual internal. So this one specifically, this is the Asus Zephyrus G14. More importantly, this has a dedicated GPU, which I think is the most important. So this is rocking the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 40 series, specifically the 4060. Having something with a dedicated graphics card is super important, especially if you're taking anything a bit more advanced, anything with uh, science, math, mathematics, anything within the STEM space, utilizing a lot of AI, computational calculations, and honestly, computers with dedicated graphics cards tend to be spec higher, so I find that they last a bit longer. You can definitely have one machine throughout your entire undergrad or master's experience. So as an example, I'm going to kind of walk down memory lane, go through some examples of what you could use uh, you know, a computer like this for. For example, if you're in engineering, if you're designing 3D models, faster AI training simulations, even if you're into architecture, all the different different models that you're looking at uh, myself. Um, won't claim that I'm an architect using anything in depth. I uh, actually use SketchUp for a lot of my models. If you're in school, you're using something a lot uh, more complex, even something like uh, MATLAB. So if you're running any sorts of scripts to see uh, general scenarios, for example, I was running some stuff uh, showing the simulation of a flock of birds moving over time. Each of those little dots are birds modeled in real time. Or if you're simulating something uh, like crowd control, how that will be impacted uh, through a structure. One of them was uh, seeing the impact on waveforms on solid objects. So that's obviously maybe used for water or something as simple as like Wi-Fi. Once again, going back to like MySpace, seeing how those waves are absorbed. A lot of that requires a lot of uh, computational power, which that dedicated graphics card will uh, help out a lot with. On all of these scripts that we ran on MATLABs, the performance was like between two to three times faster uh, GPU versus uh, CPU performance. And I know that time equals I wouldn't say like money when you're in school, but time is definitely valuable. It enables you to do your assignments faster. You can uh, relax faster, play sports. You can um, game quicker. You kind of get it with assignments. Time is almost money, I would say. And I know typically when you see an NVIDIA sticker on a laptop, your mind right away kind of shifts to gaming, which obviously that's important. This thing can game well, but it's also really suited for a lot of the educational purposes. Like I said, anything that requires that heavy extra lifting for uh, compute power. Talking about Premiere, uh, DaVinci Resolve, if you're in the creative space, I know that there's university courses like how to be a content creator. If you're using this for editing, any sort of studio work, this video actually was uh, edited on this machine, it can once again handle those larger video files. Scrubbing through uh, 4K 10-bit timelines was really smooth. This is actually lingo that I'm a bit more familiar with. It's not something that I technically studied, but uh, have become somewhat of an expert uh, over time. Once again, with how good AI has got, you can apply uh, studio effects. For example, there's certain AI lighting effects that you can add within Resolve to give artificial lighting to a sequence or to a scene. Once again, requires heavy computing power, but having that uh, dedicated card definitely makes that a lot faster and a lot quicker, and you can work with that uh, in real time. As a benchmark score, I ran Enscape, which tests render performance. So you can see some of the scores uh, right now on screen, some of the FPS scores, and you can see uh, how smooth it was. Another great example, if you're a student that looks at a lot of 3D objects and you can model them in real time, we use this uh, in SolidWorks. Once again, the performance was nice and smooth. I was able to interact with the models. This one was a bit new to me, not having uh, studied this personally in school, but definitely cool to see the fidelity of it. Just being able to rotate the model in real time with no sort of lag um, is pretty great experience on a laptop really suited for students. And generally before when I was in school, maybe I'm aging myself a little. I had some friends in the STEM space. A lot of that work could only have been done on desktops or actual sit down computers. The fact that you can take your school work around with you and work with this uh, you know, remotely from say like a coffee shop, you can take this to the library, you can collaborate with you know, other students, you can work together on uh, group projects. It's quiet, it's portable, it's thin. It's powerful. We've definitely come such a long way. I wish we had this many options when I was in school and the fact that this still has like all day battery life, you can use it uh, completely unplugged is a huge bonus. 
And lastly, for computer science students, I know that this field has definitely blown up uh, since I've been in school, maybe the area which I know least about, but uh, maybe my biggest regret not taking, doing stuff like uh, coding, so whether you're working with Python, Anaconda, and Jupyter, I know that code lines can be uh, thousands and thousands of lines long. Once again, that takes quite a bit of computational power, having that dedicated graphics card definitely helps uh, manage that. One cool test that I ran for uh, machine learning was with NVIDIA AR Body Track. With Maxine SDK, you can actually see the program tracking in real time, once again, all of my body movements. I thought that was super cool. Once again, that's just one of the examples what you can do with an RTX card. And last but not least, like I mentioned, when you see that sticker, you still have the option to game. And I know that as a student, that's when I probably played video games the most. I wish that I could uh, you know, have the time when you're in school, as long as you're done your studies, you can sit back, relax, and you know, obviously game on a machine like this. I was running a Cyberpunk 2077, getting nice and super smooth frames. Whatever game you're playing, you will have that extra benefit of being able to handle this with a dedicated graphics card. So that in all is my spiel for uh, you know back to school, for a laptop. As a reference, if you are deciding between a machine like this or something with integrated graphics, you get like 30 times faster AI performance, for example, on AI model training. You'll get 13 times faster enhanced AI powered image generation compared to an integrated graphics. And of course, that eight times faster gaming performance. I know that we all care about that in the end. But uh, let me know your thoughts down below. If you are going back to school, like I said, wishing you all the best for the upcoming semester. Hopefully this video will help you, uh, you know, pick something with a bit more power and to last you throughout um, your schooling career. I'll catch the rest of you in one of my next vids and um, happy studying. Peace.